The most common question asked in RuneScape is how do I make money? Welcome to Tutorial Island to Twisted Bow, a series where I start from scratch with nothing and farther the account each and every episode with questing, bossing, skilling, and combat. We will hope to one day achieve the Twisted Bow. After watching this series, you should no longer ask yourself, how do I make money in RuneScape? Hey guys, it's No Help, and welcome back to episode 5 of Tutorial Island to Twisted Bow. The series is going a lot better than I thought. You guys are loving the series, and that makes me really happy. But yeah, if you guys do like it, give it a thumbs up so we get it out to more people. But yeah, in this episode, we've got a lot planned. We're going to try to get the defenders up in this episode. We might do a little BA, probably not though. But yeah, lots of Slayer, bunch more questing, and getting the foundations of the account ready. I'm going to go for 10 plus all. That might not seem like a big deal, but there's a couple skills we haven't even started yet. And then we can get a house, we can start room crafting, and I just got a text. But uh, yeah, anyways, see you guys at the start. Well, that's another four Slayer points, um, 13 tasks in a row, and uh, giving us a total of 52. 52 points already, that's actually not even too bad. Let's go get another task, this one was fucking shit. Right now we are 67 combat, so we need 70 to get the better master, so a couple more Vanica tasks. Alright kind sir, what are you going to give me today? Please something good. What? Killer Watts, man. I haven't killed those on old school, I don't even think. Well, we'll see if they're any good. Good thing I looked these guys up. You need insulated boots to kill them. So yeah, I like the basically the scuff Jordans of the game. So okay, this has got to be one of the worst tasks in the entire game. They just keep constantly hitting you. I just looked it up on the wiki and you can protect from missiles, but I can't afford prayer pods, man. Like I, this is my whole bank right here, 200k. So maybe one painful task, but I can't wait to just get to better masters. This is suckish. Well guys, HD OS is here, and for the time being, I'm going to be recording in the HD version, so let me guys know uh, how you like this, but I think it looks phenomenal. It looks really good. And uh, let me know also if I should record in fixed or these, this nice full screen here. It's new to me and stuff, so I'm actually just going to go to the bank and show you guys how many carbons I've fished over the past few days. I haven't really made much progress on this account. Um... I haven't even logged into it for a few days, so let's just go check. Xanaris looks so good in HD. Alright, so we just got over 3,000 Karmbwans in the bank, so that's not bad at all. I know the bank's kind of small in the video, but yeah, 3,000 Karmbwans, so that's pretty good, guys. Well, we are back on this terrible task, but uh, hopefully it'll be over soon and we can get something way better than this. Maybe I shouldn't complain. They just dropped me a Mystic Fire Staff, and that's a 25k drop from this little task here. All right, Vanica, can you give me another assignment, please? Not like the last one. Oh my god, and coups aren't really good either. I don't even. I take so long to get for, to Karen for me. All right, so we are at the Anku's task now. Um, I think these are a decent task. I, I should have brought some prayer potions because I'm going to definitely have to make a couple of trips, which isn't the best, but uh, we're getting there, guys. We just need to get a bit more strength and a bit more attack levels, and then we can start going for the defenders for that strength bonus, and maybe I will go and get the torso. I want to get the Slayer Helm fully unlocked as well, but uh, yeah, overall, it's not going too bad. Alright, Anku's was, you know, uh, thank you, thank you. Alright, Vanica, come on, give me something. Eat fire giants, bro, that's, that's a good task. I actually just had that task on my Iron Man, so yeah. Now this is gonna be a good task. I might have to go back and forth for food, but I'm just gonna be doing them under the uh, waterfall dungeon. And, uh, yeah, this should get us some decent XP. We are at 44 Slayer right now, 54. 4 HP coming in, not bad, didn't even see that one coming, but uh, maybe this will push us to close to 60 strength. Alright, so I have done uh, most of the fire giants so far with melee, but I thought this might be the perfect opportunity to train some magic a little bit. I want to eventually get the cooking gauntlets and that quest out of the way, as well as get proselyte armor as soon as possible, so there's a bunch of requirements for that. And when I do my agility, I'll probably want a high elk, so if I can get my magic up a little bit, as well as taking on the demon in that quest. So we'll try this out a little bit, we're not hitting too high or anything, but it's pretty safe spotable now. 
Coming in with 45 Slayer, we're up to 35 Magic now. There's a bunch of quests that I'm going to be doing today after this, so that should uh, make some more interesting content. We're going to have to get the gender change as well for that one quest, and uh, then we're going to do a bunch of the other ones, like Dig Site, I think. Some of the more annoying ones to get out of the way. And just like that, we have 46 Slayer. Uh, nothing actually unlocked there, but uh, we are up to 44 magic from starting at level 30. So that's that's pretty phenomenal, really. I think we are almost on this task. Let's check. We have like uh, 20 more to go. So let's just finish this task. All right, the Fire Giants is over. That was 12k Slayer experience. So we are up to 46 Slayer and 46 Magic now. I think I'm going to AFK a little bit, either fletching or cooking. But we're going to go ahead and get another assignment first from Vanica. Depending on what it is, we maybe we'll do it right now. Hobgoblins. All oh, these are the guys like in this little thing. So that's that's good. All right, so for recruitment drive, we need to get a sex change. So 3,000 coins to be a female. <sighs> This bald female character. Okay, so, you know, we had to get the hair, so we're good to go now. Ooh, now we're looking good. <laughs> so we got a lot of raw food from doing temperance, like all these shrimps and, I mean, all these salmon and all this stuff. So we're going to go ahead and cook this stuff up for now, and then we will come back and do some questing. So we are at 45 cooking right now. 47 cooking all right 54 cooking how many have we actually cooked now some random ass guy asked me for burnt food and i gave him like 100 burnt food or 60 or something like that but yeah we've cooked about just over a thousand in total because we burnt a bit um yeah cooking is very easy and why am i training cooking i need 70 for recipe for disaster and also it's a are gonna probably be our first 99 on the account it's very easy it only takes about 30 hours total and it's totally afk and you make a lot of money in the uh higher levels of cooking so it's always good to get some money out of a simple skill cooking is so fast we've already hit 60 all right, so selling all of the salmon that I cooked, we actually get a decent amount of money, and there's still a lot of food that I need to cook, obviously, but now we can uh, afford some quest items. All right, accept this reward, 2,500 coins, and completion of the Black Knight's Fortress, three quest points, and up to 70 now, and now we can finally do recruitment drive. All right, well, that one was kind of a little annoying to do, but anyways, there we go. We have one quest point, 1K prayer, 1K herb lore, 1K agility, which is actually nice. Baldor as a respawn point, which is great, and the initiate, whatever. I believe there's a couple more quests to get Broslight, but we'll work on that, and uh, we should get some levels now. 13 Herblore coming in, 47 agility as well, and I think that'll be everything. Yeah, so not bad at all. Oh yeah, and we get the helmet now. Well, we just hit 100 laps at the Canifis rooftop. We're up to 22 in the inventory. I'm not sure how many we have in the bank, but uh, not close to graceful yet. We are at... 49 agility so i don't know how much we're gonna get before we go back to some slayer for a bit but we gotta work at it like i said all right i actually just missed the level but we just got 50 agility so not too bad i don't know how much longer i'm gonna stay here and up to 70 marks now i grab all the marks for my bank i thought with uh i might as well bring my kitten along as well to train him a little bit for recipe for disaster because i know that would be annoying and i have to go do some barb fishing or something like that to raise him so i might as well raise him now maybe i will train agility until he's fully grown i'm not sure but uh, i think you need 260 marks of grace so it might take a little bit longer than i was expecting to get graceful but it's always good to get agility out of the way maybe we'll get like 70 or something and then that'll be good for a long time all right like i said i'm gonna try to get 10 plus in all skills so i'm gonna work on fire making so we can unlock winter todd and i just got all of the clue hunter i think there's another one piece here that i'm missing but i hope i don't need that for winter todd so it's not annoying that annoying to get i already had the legs from a quest so uh yeah forgot how slow of a process it is to do fire making without winter todd or bonfires from rs3 so this might take a little while but uh, i guess i'll begin recording when we hit like 15 we can do some oaks all right this is not going too bad we're up to 15 fire making it's kind of nostalgic with these hd graphics doing the blind fire making because this is what i literally used to do as a kid so i'm pretty sure now we can do oak uh yeah oak and then willow's at 30 so damn it i missed the level but we just got 30 fire making so i believe we can do willows now and hopefully this should speed it up is there anything else between willows and yes we could do like teaks but pretty much just willows now 
At least I have them banked. Okay, so you know how I'm a female character from that quest? This man just traded me flowers. <laughs> That's really funny. 45 fire making. I can't believe I did this in one sitting, but this is the log here that we will get 50 fire making. We brought our cat along as well, might as well, up to 50 fire making in one sitting. Um, and you can now enter the Winter Todd Prison. So we're going to try a couple KC out, see how it goes. I haven't done Winter Todd in about three years, so I'm kind of excited actually. And I know we can make a little bit of money there as well. But uh, I'll probably only get like 55 fire making and then we'll go train some something else. I wanted to get 10 plus all in this video, but I thought I'd get that annoyance out of the way. Right, there we go. Ghost Ahoy is completed. Two quest points, 2400 prayer, which is awesome. And I did it with my friend here. Let's go. 45 prayer coming in. <laughs> Alright, sorry for the last clip, my friend and I actually just did the quest together, and uh, I wasn't even planning on doing that quest yet, but he wanted to do it, so I thought I would just do it with him, and it would be a little easier, it was kind of fun to do that, but uh, I'm gonna go buy a house, I know I can do the daddy's home quest or whatever it is, um, I believe I have a, a house now, yeah, we should have a house now, um, relocate, yeah, we have a house now, so now basically we can gain construction experience in Winter Todd, so I'm gonna try out a couple KC and see how it goes. Alright guys, so the AFKing has paid off. We're up to 8,000 Karambons fished. Just while I'm obviously playing my Iron Man account, it's something good to do on the side. We are up to almost 78 fishing. So yeah, we definitely should be doing something else, but uh, it's about 3 million cash from Karambon so far. Alright, so we are actually doing some Winter Todd now. We just got 40 fletching. I forgot we're going to get some fletching levels, woodcutting levels here. Maybe some construction too. And we're back to the Y fletch community. But uh... <laughs> Yeah, 54 fire making. I think we have this is our fifth kill. Um, not going too bad, obviously. And it's really freaking fast. I forgot you needed so much food here. I almost died the first time I came in because I was thinking, you know, like when you do it on a 10 HP account, you don't really need that much food. But uh, yeah, it's coming in with 5kc. Oh, we got a text message here. But 5kc, let's go open these crates. I'll actually wait till I get like 10. But um, look how many people are here. It's actually crazy um holy shit stop texting me um but anyways yeah let's get some more food and do another couple of kills Winter todd man and hd is looking awesome we're about to get our ninth or eighth kc so yeah and then we'll open up the crates this big xp drop gonna be coming in it's gonna be insane let's fix this brazier really quick oh 5.6k this is why i got 99 for my first iron man <laughs> All right, that is 10 KC at Winter Todd. I think we're going to take a little bit of a break for now. We're at 57 fire making, so in 10 kills, we gained five or 10 kills, we gained seven levels, which is actually nuts. So we're going to go to the bank, open up these crates, and hopefully we get some good loot. All right, so 10 crates. Let's go. Not really expecting much, but maybe the pet. Okay, Toad Flax Seed 2K and Sharks. Not bad. Okay, some money, some money. Even one of like the burnt things would be nice. I mean, only 10, can't really expect much. Nothing crazy, let's check the total profit made. Wow, that's a lot more than I was expecting, 170k. I guess the gems and herbs really add up. All right, so 44 fletching, I haven't left the bank yet. I'm deciding on whether to go do slay or do something else, but we decided to fletch in the meantime, so 44. All right, Vanica, getting another assignment. We just fit. What the f fuck is this? Cave bugs, dude. Five Slayer XP per kill. Yeah, yeah. I'm asking you nicely, Vanica. Something better than that, please. <laughs> I take back what I said about lizards. I found these lizards in like, um, Karend, or not Karend, yeah, Karend, where you kill them in the, by like the, um, the, the Slayer Master I want to get to that drops the Brimstone Keys. Yeah, you can go in here and kill these lizards, and they're, they're not bad. Uh, 50 Slayer XP each. Yeah, so 47. We're getting closer and closer. I need 65 strength and 65 attack, and then we need to get 60 defense in order to get the Dragon Defender. So that's going to be the main goal for a while. 59 strength coming in these guys are pretty decent i really like this task i'm sad that it's almost going to be over but we're almost 60 and 60 
Getting there. All right, the last task was pretty good, Vanica, but I think you can do better than that. Apparently, you can't, but at least I know where these things are. Oh, I didn't even notice. We actually, I was so focused on finishing, the, finishing this task that I didn't even realize we hit 60 strength. So 60 attack and strength now. We just need to get 65 in each, or I guess 70 strength, one or the other. Probably 65, 65 would be easier. And then we can focus on like defense and stuff like that. But anyways, let's get another assignment from you, Vanica. 69, or 69, 67 cal fights. Anyways, I think that's a lot of progress for one video. I actually didn't get 10 plus all, but we are very close. We just got construction pretty much left to train. And then obviously one level of room crafting and one level of hunter. So we will definitely be knocking that out in the next episode, as well as getting the defenders in the next episode. Um, I want to finish off my graceful as soon as possible too, and just keep making as much money as possible. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya later.